Yes, you read the title correctly. Stop watching coding tutorials and do what I'm about to teach you in this video instead. Look, while coding tutorials can be helpful, don't get me wrong, they're simply not the best way to learn to code. Sure, they can provide you with a basic understanding of programming and you might learn a thing or two, but just watching tutorials will not prepare you for the real world challenges you're going to face as a programmer. Look, there's a very common thing that I'm sure you've heard of before, which is called tutorial help and how it works is you start building and coding along with a bunch of tutorials and you get the sense that you're learning a lot but when you actually try to go out and build something on your own you realize you have no idea where to start and that's why it's super important that while you're watching tutorials you're also building projects to apply all of that theory that you're learning and we call this project-based learning and in this video what I want to do is teach you the project-based learning strategy that I teach to every single one of my students that's going to allow you to learn any programming language easily if you're new here my name's Iman. i went from working in a warehouse to landing an eighty thousand dollar developer job without a degree in under six months and i've also helped dozens of career transitioners just like yourself transition into the tech industry and honestly i believe that this learning strategy that i'm about to teach you is 90 percent of the reason why i was even able to make the transition so without further ado let's stop wasting your time and jump straight in so here is how the learning strategy strategy works. For every single programming language or technology that you want to learn, I want you to follow these three steps. Step one is watch a crash course. Step two is build three guided tutorial projects. And the third and final step will be to build what I call a solo project. This learning strategy that I just outlined is called the 3x framework. And it's an absolute foolproof learning strategy that I developed through hundreds of hours of trial and error and thousands if not tens of thousands of dollars spent on different resources boot camps programs and mentorships and believe me when i say it is the most efficient way to learn any programming language or technology out there now let's actually dive into the details of each step that i just walked through to see how it actually works and how we can optimize each step of this learning process so like i just mentioned the first stage of the 3x framework is to watch a crash course so the purpose of this stage is to give you a a broad understanding of all of the basic theory that you need to know about whatever programming language or technology you are learning. Now, just to be clear, by the end of the crash course, you are by no means meant to have some sort of thorough, in-depth understanding of everything. Just a basic surface level idea of how everything kind of works. So for example, let's say you're learning JavaScript. The first thing you would do is go to YouTube and search for a JavaScript crash course and watch any video of your choice. Now, in order to make the most of the crash course stage there's a few key guidelines you need to make sure you're following while going through the crash course and the first of which is taking notes so while you're watching the crash course it's very important that you are taking notes on all of the key concepts that you are learning this is going to be good for you not only because you can refer to these notes later in the learning strategy when you get stuck or hit a roadblock but even just the fact that you are summarizing the concepts that you are learning in your own words is going to help you understand and internalize everything so much better and help commit this knowledge to long-term memory. Now, the second guideline you want to follow is coding along. So if it wasn't obvious enough, you want to make sure that you are actually coding along with the instructor of the crash course that you are watching. Coding along and getting your hands dirty is going to make things stick so much better than just watching a video. And this carries over perfectly into our next guideline, which is to do the exercises. So throughout any crash course that you watch, you are most likely going to receive a few exercises from the instructor that you have to go out and complete on your own. And again, if it wasn't obvious enough, it's really important that you are actually taking the time to pause the video and give these exercises a shot. Because just like I mentioned in the last point, getting your hands dirty and actually writing some code is gonna help you develop your critical thinking. It's gonna help things stick a lot better. And it's also gonna get you accustomed to writing code on your own. Now, the fourth guideline you wanna make sure you are following is rewinding the video. So whenever you're stuck on a concept or you're struggling to understand a portion of the crash course. Don't feel afraid to just rewind the video and re-watch the part that is confusing you. Remember, the whole point of the crash course isn't for you to just go through it as quickly as possible. It's for you to develop a basic understanding of the language or technology that you're learning, no matter how long that takes. So don't feel ashamed to move at your own pace. This isn't a race. Rewind and re-watch the video as many times as you need to actually understand the concepts. Now, if you follow these guidelines, by the end of the crash course, 
course you should have a basic understanding of everything that you need to know of all the basic theory of whatever language or technology you are learning now it's time to learn how to apply that knowledge practically in the real world and how we do this is with the second stage of the 3x framework which is three guided projects so the purpose of this stage is to basically take all of the fundamental concepts that you learned during the crash course and teach you how to apply them practically in the real world to actually build something so this stage is very straightforward you want to simply find three project walkthroughs and just code along with them so for example let's say we were learning javascript we'd go to youtube would search for javascript tutorial projects and code along with any three videos of our choice now like i mentioned earlier on in this video there is a phenomenon in the programming community known as tutorial hell and it refers to when a person watches a ton of project tutorials but is unable to ever go and build anything on their own and in order to make sure you don't go into tutorial hell there is a few key guidelines that you need to make sure that you are following as you go through these project tutorials and the first is going to be to code along so if it wasn't obvious enough you have to be coding along with the project tutorials at this stage as we discussed multiple times throughout this video coding along is going to help you internalize the information that you are learning so much better now the second guideline is actually building ahead so once you gain a little bit of confidence writing code on your own i actually recommend you to pause the video and attempt to build ahead of the project tutorial that you're following now in your first guided project you probably won't be able to do this because you're still getting the hang of how everything works but by your second or third you should be starting to feel a little more confident writing code on your own and it's at that stage that you can start pausing the video and really pushing the limits and start getting more used to writing code on your own and if you get stuck or you hit a roadblock you can always just refer back to the tutorial now the third guideline is also adding your own twists so if you're feeling ultra confident you can even go as far as building your own extra features or adding your own twists or changes to the project tutorial that you're following now if you follow all of these guidelines by the end of the guided projects you should be feeling a lot more confident on how the theory you learned during the crash courses is actually used in the real world and how to actually build projects with them now it's time to put all of your knowledge to the final test with the last stage of the 3x framework but before we get into that just a quick side note if you're serious about transitioning into tech and you want me to personally guide you through the entire process all the way from learning the skills to landing your first developer job click the first link in the description to apply for my one-on-one -on -one coding bootcamp it's where i help career transitioners just like yourself land 70 to 100k developer roles in just a few months so if that sounds like you check out the first link in the description but without further ado let's dive straight back in and get into the final stage of the 3x framework which is going to be building out a solo project so by this stage you have already learned all of the fundamentals of the given programming language or technology you are learning through the crash course and you have learned how those fundamentals are used to build projects in the real world using the guided projects now the final test to make sure you understand everything that you learned is to build a project on your own so this stage is pretty self explanatory you're going to throw yourself into the deep end and build out a project without the help of a tutorial and this is going to let you know whether you actually understand everything you've learned so far or you don't and you're going to get your solo project idea from chat gpt using the following prompt i have just finished learning and then insert whatever programming language or technology you are learning give me a solo project idea that combines everything i would use it for in a real software engineering job and if you can complete and build out the project idea that chat gpt gives you congrats you now know you fully understand whatever programming language or technology you are learning and that is the full system i use to teach myself and all of my students how to code if you follow this learning strategy i promise you that your programming journey is going to be 10 times smoother and there's literally no chance that you don't see success now obviously there is a lot of other important concepts that i couldn't cover in a single video because yeah now you have the learning strategy but what skills you actually learn in the first place what projects do you build how do you get a job with these skills so here's what you should do next if you want to keep learning for free then check out the full one hour and 30 minute course that i have right here on my channel it walks through absolutely everything i know about how to transition into tech as a career changer all the way from learning the skills to building projects to landing interviews but if you're done wasting time trying to piece together everything on your own and you want me to personally coach you through the entire process then apply to join my coding bootcamp with the first link 
in the description. It's why I work directly with people just like you, career changers and transitioners to land their first developer job in the next three to six months guaranteed. Thank you for watching. Make sure to like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next video.